Pompeii, the ancient Roman city frozen in time by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79, continues to captivate and educate us about life in antiquity. With each new excavation, archaeologists uncover fascinating discoveries that shed light on the everyday experiences, beliefs, and creativity of the city's inhabitants. In this episode, we will explore the latest finds at Pompeii, including ancient graffiti depicting gladiators discovered within the Casa del Senecolo Colonnato, or House of the Last Supper colonnade enclosure in the heart of the city, as well as the remains of victims of the eruption. These remarkable discoveries offer a unique glimpse into the lives and imaginations of Pompeii's inhabitants, just before the tragic event that would forever preserve their city in ash and memory. Pompeii, a once thriving Roman city located near modern-day Naples, was a vibrant center of commerce, art, and entertainment. The city was home to a diverse population, including wealthy merchants, skilled artisans, and even gladiators who fought in the city's amphitheater. However, the city's prosperity came to an abrupt end on August 24 AD 79, when Mount Vesuvius erupted, burying Pompeii and the nearby town of Herculaneum under a thick layer of volcanic ash and pumice. The rediscovery of Pompeii in the 18th century sparked a renewed interest in the ancient world, and the city has since become one of the most important archaeological sites globally. The well-preserved ruins offer a unique insight into the daily lives of the ancient Romans, from their homes and businesses to their art and entertainment. Due to the nature of the city's destruction, being totally covered in ash, Pompeii remains remarkably preserved, with 2,000-year-old bits of food still sitting in the city's outdoor markets and the grisly circumstances of its residents' deaths frozen in time. The recent discoveries were made in and around several houses at Pompeii, particularly within an insula, or city block, in the central district of the ancient city. In Roman architecture, an insula refers to either a type of apartment building or a city block. The Casa del Senecolo Colonnato, or the House of the Last Supper Colonnade where the gladiator graffiti was discovered, is located within one such insula. Interestingly, at the time of the eruption in AD 79, the insula housing the House of the Last Supper Colonnade was undergoing restructuring works, possibly to repair damage caused by an earthquake that had struck the city just days before the volcanic eruption. The ongoing excavations at Pompeii have yielded a wealth of new discoveries including beautiful frescoes, rudimentary doodles, and a pair of human remains. One of the most striking finds was the remains of two individuals, a woman and a man, found just in front of the house of the painters at work. The individuals, described as being of advanced age by the archaeologists who published the report, appeared to have sought refuge from the eruption in a small corridor. The grim fate serves as a moving reminder of the tragedy that befell Pompeii nearly two millennia ago. Inside the house of the painters at work, archaeologists also uncovered stunning frescoes depicting mythological figures such as griffins, mermaids, centaurs, and the gods Venus, Aphrodite, Apollo, and Bacchus, Dionysus. These intricate and well-preserved paintings offer a window into the artistic and cultural world of ancient Pompeii, revealing the importance of mythology in the daily lives of its inhabitants. But perhaps the most intriguing discovery was found in the house of the colonnaded Senecal or Senecolo Colonnato. Here, excavators uncovered charcoal drawings on the walls of one corridor, which, based on their rudimentary appearance, were likely made by a child. The sketches depict two gladiators facing off, an eagle's head, and a hunting scene, providing a rare and intimate look into the imagination and interests of a young Pompeian. Nearby, the team discovered more charcoal etchings including the outlines of three small hands, two more gladiatorial scenes, and an apparent boxing scene with one of the figures lying on the ground. The boxing scene appeared to be created using a red pigment, possibly ochre. These additional drawings further emphasize the fascination that the children of Pompeii had with the violent spectacles of the amphitheater and the pervasiveness of gladiatorial combat in their daily lives. Gladiatorial combat was a popular form of entertainment in ancient Rome with gladiators being celebrated as heroes and even achieving celebrity status. The amphitheatre in Pompeii, capable of holding up to 20,000 spectators, was a central hub for these spectacles. The graffiti suggests that children in Pompeii were exposed to this violent form of entertainment from a young age, and it clearly left a lasting impression on their imaginations. The recent discoveries at Pompeii add to the growing body of knowledge about the ancient city and its inhabitants. The charcoal drawings, likely made by a child, are particularly significant as they offer a rare glimpse into the minds and imaginations of Pompeii's youngest residents. 
The fascination with gladiatorial combat and hunting scenes suggests that children were exposed to these violent spectacles from a young age, and that they left a lasting impression on their developing minds. The location of the graffiti within a residential insula underscores the close proximity between the everyday lives of Pompeii's inhabitants and the spectacles of the amphitheater. The drawing shows that the fascination with gladiatorial combat extended far beyond the walls of the arena, permeating the homes and imaginations of the city's residents. Moreover, the timing of the graffiti's creation, likely just days before the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, adds a layer of poignancy to the discovery. These drawings, etched in charcoal by young hands, serve as a haunting testament to the lives cut short by the disaster and the enduring legacy of Pompeii's tragic end. The stunning frescoes and mythological depictions found in the House of the Painters at Work further highlight the importance of art and religion in the daily lives of Pompeii's inhabitants. These well-preserved paintings provide a window into the beliefs, values, and artistic expressions of the ancient Romans, offering invaluable insights into their culture and society. All these discoveries at Pompeii add to the growing body of knowledge about the ancient city and its inhabitants. In 2022, archaeologists revealed the interior of a middle-class home just nearby, complete with amphorae and cookware, while another team sequenced the genome of a man who died in the eruption, likely due to a pyroclastic flow. These findings, along with the newly discovered gladiator sketches and frescoes, helped to paint a more complete picture of life in Pompeii and the tragic circumstances of its destruction. The latest discoveries at Pompeii, including the ancient gladiator sketches likely drawn by a child, the beautiful frescoes, and the grim remains of two individuals, serve as a testament to the enduring power of archaeology to illuminate the past and broaden our understanding of ancient cultures. These findings provide a poignant and intimate look into the lives and experiences of Pompeii's inhabitants, just before the catastrophic eruption that would forever preserve their city in ash. As excavations continue at Pompeii, we can expect more groundbreaking discoveries that will further enrich our understanding of this pivotal moment in history and the people who lived through it. Each new finding contributes to our ever-growing appreciation for the resilience, creativity, and complexity of the human experience across time and cultures, reminding us of the importance of studying and preserving these invaluable artifacts for future generations. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through the latest discoveries at Pompeii. We hope that this exploration of the ancient gladiator sketches, stunning frescoes, and poignant human remains has captivated your imagination and deepened your appreciation for the rich history and culture of this remarkable ancient city. If you enjoyed this content and would like to stay up to date with the latest discoveries and insights from the world of archaeology, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Once again, thank you for your support and interest. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep marveling at the wonders of the ancient world.